everybody, it's Sam at Mix Up Craft. Thank you for watching today. I just wanted to quickly show you the new release by Daisy May Designs. This one's called Country Lane. I've just put together the samples and before I pack it up, again, I thought I would share them with you. Lots of you have been commenting saying that you like this because it's nice to see the collections and see the kind of things that you can create with them before you decide if you did want to purchase them or not. So I have, I believe it's the whole collection. So I will start off here with the card examples. So this is the stamp and die set. This one's called Floral Blooms. So you've got cute watering can, you've got the bucket there, and then you've got the spray of flowers. And then you've got this cute little um, kind of sign here and you can put relax on there or what's the other one? Oh, enjoy as well. And then you've got thinking of you and have a happy day. So the one that I've created with that one is this card here, and it's also using a new set of oval dies. So I'll just bring it up there. I think I might add some little, um, like some Wink Stella or some sparkle or maybe some glossy accents just over the flowers. I think they can definitely hold something. But it's a really nice one, and I do love these ovals. I think now I've pretty much got every shape going in this distressed nest of dies so if you see closely there it's got that stitch detail with these like distressed pieces i really think it's quite cool and then i've done it again you can see it in the green there i just and i've colored these using my brush pens and uh, yeah really pleased with how they've turned out i'm a big fan of daisy may anyway so it's nice that i get to you know actually play with this product when it releases and then i've just done some heat embossing there with the relax on the little sign i just think it's super cute so it just gives you an idea there of the size that's a five by seven card so that will obviously go nicely into the envelope and whilst i'm showing you the shapes there that's them so it's the oval torn edge sorry that's what they're called nesting die set but they do squares they do rectangles they do arches uh, gosh there's there's quite a few um some of them i think have sold out but these are obviously brand new so these ones should still be available and then also i'll show you this the next shape in a moment but yeah that's one of the cards I've created there. and it's nice because it does stand up because it's an oval it won't obviously can keep rolling like a circle would so it's it's got a lovely profile when it's together so that's that one there and then we've got this one here which is called Village in Bloom I think this is really nice I live near a village and they have a garden centre that sponsors the kind of street during the summer and the hanging baskets and everything that start coming out are just beautiful and I just thought when I saw that Village in Bloom I don't have a stamp set that says that and I thought that's actually really nice to give to someone but also you have on your retirement on that one and you you could easily put happy birthday and things like that but look, let me show you the one I've done with this so I've just put together this simple one here and I've put everything on foam adhesive and I've used the other shaped nesting dies which is this heart so I'll show you that and I've put village in bloom and I just thought what a nice one to maybe give if it's a competition or something in your village and you could you know give them this stamp set but like I said just swap that for happy birthday or you know on your retirement but I also used that lovely little bench and the dog on this one here which I just love this card. And in the back there it says, and so the adventure begins. And then on the sign, you have the option to put different little sentiments in there. So this one's the new job and it just says happiness, but I've used him there as well. So you can, you know, cross over the, the stamps and um, I'll talk more about that card in a moment. But yeah, that was that one there. So I just thought I'd do something quite simple just to really show off the stamps and just how they look grouped together. So that's that one. Love this stamp and die set so this is gorgeous really really pretty and the one I've done with that one is this one here so so cute look so I've done a bit of a shabby chic style here and I've used one of the heart nests there and then I've used a little button and I've put a little heart little embellishment and then I've put some Nouveau sparkle Nouveau drops it's the blizzard I think white blizzard and then I've put some uh, glossy accents on the flowers and just stamped into the the center of it there I just think it's really cute and that one you have different sentiments you've got on your wedding day you've got a true love story never ends you've got with love and you've got congratulations I just love that arch of the flowers there I just think it's really really cute so that's that style I'm going to keep that one there because I don't want to put anything on top of it because those ones are all okay and then this is this one so this is the, get it out the right way. So this one is called the Country Lane. So that's your die for the post and the scene. And this is how they look here. And this is the one that I was saying about, you get all these little sentiments. So you've got new job, you've got start, you've got home, you've got journey and then happiness. Wishing you love and you've also got and so the adventure begins. And that's how I've created this one. So this is a, it's, it's, well it is, it's a bridge fold card, but I've just swapped out usually you see them with a strip there I've covered this in acetate so this you know is in your foreground and then you've got that lovely 
stamped image there in the background which I've used my watercolours on and I just I love it I really really enjoyed this one and how it all come together it all folds flat and will fit in a 6x6 envelope but it's um it's just a really nice one again I think it worked really well with this one um, and I was trying to think of nice ways to kind of show that off so that's where I've used that little dog again because obviously this one comes with this sign here and then that background but again just like it I think it's you know really fun and something a little bit different and then this one here is another really nice one and I I mean they're very different you know and I don't have a lot of wedding kind of things and this one is called the village church window gorgeous with the stained glass now I didn't do stained glass for my sample but it's certainly one that I would think to do next time I use it but this one you've got a special occasion thinking of you happily ever after and with sympathy with sympathy so it covers quite a few there and this is the one I've made and I actually kept the card in the shape of the window so just open it up there it's just side folding oh it does stand but my mat is incredibly warped where I've been doing heat embossing on it so I need to put some books on it and get that flattened but it does stand you know perfectly on its own but again if I bring it up I've put loads of sparkle on the plants there or the flowers and I've put some really cute little tiny sparkly gemstones there and I've just put happily ever after and I've just done some grey highlight just with um, the watercolour pen there because I wanted the flowers to really pop but I think it's yeah it's a good size that one again will fit in a five by seven it's low, well the widest point's four and a half by six actually so no it goes smaller so again I'm going to put that there because I don't want it squashing and then we've got this one here again another really nice one this is the village church and this I think is probably the favorite that I've done so I'll show you the the final one so it's this one here look so I've made a little 3d card I've totally you know thought outside of the box of this and I just I don't know when I saw it, I thought this needs to stand up and so this is you can see here how it's stamped with the little kind of um you know path there and I thought oh let's fold it up and have it as a feature and then I've just stamped two of the wall and put them with hinges and then on the back here I've got my sentiment which says blessings on your christening and I love it I think it's so so cute again it does stand perfectly on its own and it will all fold flat and fit in an envelope in fact you best fold in that bit up first and then there we go so it fit into a little envelope but you also for this one you can easily put the sentiment on the wall there but I thought you know what I'm just going to keep that plain and just show off the lovely stamps but you've got blessings on your christening baptism confirmation and holy communion and again I just think it's really really nice and then I also did do this one but I don't know I just wasn't so keen on it and I done a bit of decoupage with the the door here but I don't know it looks a little bit Halloweeny in terms of the colors you know maybe if I even done the roof like purple and um it just it yeah i just wasn't too keen on it so it's it was good for me to play around with it but then i went down this route and i just think this one looks so much nicer with the brown more of like the the wooden kind of roof effect and i've done the little hearts there as well these are actually taken from the center of the watering can this one here there's a little heart there i just took that one out and um i thought yeah i'm going to add some hearts on the church I just love it I think it's really really cute and then finally that was the hearts sorry I didn't show them so that's what I used on that one there and also on this one here so a few of the different sizes and um, that one I've just offset and just trimmed off the sides and I've just used some burlap and um, some I think it's yeah some hessian there as well just to create that detail underneath so, okay so there are all the cards in fact when I see them all together like this I do I really like them there's loads of color and I just love the different shapes and things so it's nice I think I try to when I share these kind of things I want to, you to be able to look at other ways to use the die so don't always think about using them you know just stamp directly onto a card front or um, you know just like that I mean that's beautiful but there's ways to develop that more you can cut into the gate and have it open you could have this as a background behind there so I definitely want to play around with them some more and use the actual dies as your card shape and I just think that's really really fun I mean you, you could bring in the dog there you could have the bench there you could have the lamp post with this one I mean the proportions are probably completely out because it almost is the same height but it could be closer in the foreground you could have the church in the background you know you could put that in there you know in this kind of shape card so I think sometimes it's looking at the style card to use the stamps with so actually that has given me a nice idea to have that behind there and then you could have 
different I don't know what was the other ones I said but let's see if there's like happily ever after or something like that anyway you kind of get the idea but I th hopefully it's just given you some inspiration and uh, yeah you've enjoyed it so if you have as always please give me a thumbs up all the links to everything will be shared below and I'll be back again very soon with another tutorial thanks for watching bye